The Sun Infectious Disease Research has really always been a pioneering institution. Uh, we pioneered the uh, start of global infectious disease research as a private, not-for-profit research institute. Became now the largest institution in the world that's totally devoted to global infectious diseases. As scientists, we're motivated on a daily basis. We think, I think, about the people. Think about the people that are uh, affected by these these diseases, HIV, malaria, TB, to name you know, the most significant. I have seen uh, children in malaria wards who I knew were going to die that day, three or four to a bed, uh, tiny babies who are suffering from malaria. Now multiply that by millions of people, and now you can understand the magnitude of the consequences of the problems. We focus mainly on what I call the big three diseases, that is um, TB, HIV, and malaria. And pretty much every day we come to work here, we are um, trying to develop drugs, vaccines, and diagnostics against these diseases. The way vaccines have been made, you know, through the centuries, have been really through hit and miss. We hope it works. We kill a pathogen, inject it, and hope that it works. And it just does not work for malaria, HIV, and TB. And so we're done trying that hit and miss approach. Now we've got much greater uh, technological uh, tools available to us and computational analysis tools so we can predict and rationally design these vaccines. That's the idea. I think an important word, an important idea is the hope, part of our mission. Everyone has a stake in this. These diseases are impacting economies, they're impacting security, whereas we think of these diseases as diseases that are affecting other people, they are in fact affecting all of humanity. We need help in this endeavor. We need a partnership with every individual out there who realizes that these are important diseases. And what I can say is that whenever I speak with people that um, are having to spend a vast amount of their time just trying to deal with a disease in their family, um, they uh, perk up and you can see that they have hope for the future in terms of uh, a better life.